Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Stacy back at again with another video. Today we are finally doing a regular commentary. They finally got theory mode slightly fixed, slightly not. I'll explain how it's not later on in the video. Just kidding, I'm gonna explain it right now. But there's just a lot of commentary on the new Nuke Town, and uh, at the start, I believe I used an Outlaw because I just got my Sniper's Diamond. Let's go. Just did it on stream. Just ended the stream right like five minutes ago, not even. And uh, I knew I needed to make a video for today, so I'm making this video right now. Just I'm so ecstatic to get my sniper's diamond, dude. It's been such a long struggle. And now I'm off to SMGs, so it'll be another long struggle. But I want to thank all my friends for being there pretty much almost the whole way. And for showing mad support to my stream. And again, my stream name is The Real AOSTZ on Twitch. So be sure to check it out, follow the stream. Or follow me on Twitter and I'll post every time I go live on Twitter. So, as you can Got see, him. it's no shave November, not November anymore, but I'm keeping the beard for now until, until like next week, then I'm shaving it. <laughs> but, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm not here to talk about third mode either, but I'm here to point that up really quickly. And uh, I brought up the MX-9, as you guys can see, because that's going to be some machine guns in my new, that's my next my target of, of guns to get. Diamond is some machine guns. The reason why I was using it right here, right now, is because I needed to level up to Attack unlock him. the other snipers. So I was using an SMG Raise until then. Alright, now that that's over with. Theater mode. What? Like, I am very happy to announce, well, not announce, but to say that it is at least loading gameplays again. That is great. Thank you, Treyarch, for, for doing that. But one thing I still have to say is it's extremely, extremely still glitchy. Like, I probably wouldn't be able to pause it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to touch my controller or anything right now because I'm afraid it's going to mess everything up. And I really don't want to redo this commentary. It's the second time I'm doing it. Not because they're the mobile, because my capture card wasn't working. And uh, again, I just want to mention about my stream. Thank everyone for tuning in and supporting it and supporting me. Personally, thank you guys for watching my videos. And uh, I'm sorry I kind of have like little hiccups like earlier today or at the start of my stream I had no audio at all and I apologize for that and then my computer reset just shortly after that and oh excuse me I did not mean to make that sound but it was just such a struggle but everything's all good now my internet's fine so I can still stream and play multiplayer and not be on a solid one bar. So, I, I'm honestly, I'm happy, and everything's all good, I got diamond snipers, I'm ecstatic, dude. So, anyway, so my main, my main point of this video is I'm going to be talking about optic gaming again. And what I'm going to be talking about is, do, like, pre-lands and boot camps actually help a team win an event? If you don't know what a pre-land or a boot camp is, it's where, for example... Coming up to Las Vegas, Las Vegas starts uh, Friday, so tomorrow Profit starts, kill. which is a LAN, it's, I don't know if it's CWL or who's doing it, but anyway, there's a Lost Call of Duty event, a LAN tournament going on in Las Vegas, happening right now, should, let's just see if I should fast forward or not. Alright, wait, I have to hit start, back, so that's what I mean by it's like, you have to hit start, so 12 minutes, 6 minutes. Alright, I'm not good at that. Yeah, I am. I won't let you guys watch this. So let me just fast forward real quick and then boom. So there's a, there's a Call of Duty tournament happening Attack this him. weekend. And uh, what Optic did was since it's the first tournament of the year, they want to know what guns are good on LAN because LAN is completely different as online as what I mentioned in my previous videos. So they wanted to see what guns were really good and what guns were complete garbage with what attachments and stuff. Assault so they held right a here. boot camp. So they held their own personal like LAN. What the hell am I saying? That? They uh, hosted their own personal pre-LAN just uh, like this week or last week, something like that. They scrammed against E United and Envious, I believe. I believe the first one was E United and the second one was Envy. And uh, what I want to say is, does it actually help? So Crimson actually talked about this in the most recent vision in all the gaming. So if you want to go back to the original information of all of this, go to the vision, like off the gaming's most recent vision. 
and uh, he explains it more in depth than from his side, which is actual the pro side, and I just got information from it, and I thought I would update you guys if you guys were curious about it or if you wanted to know and stuff like that. So what I'm trying to say is does free land help? And uh, in this case, I believe it actually does extremely help because one, they're scrimming against two teams, so there's variety, they'll learn strats from both those teams, and they'll learn how kind of other people play, instead of just playing like one team, like if they, excuse me, if they only play Team Envy, then they would only know Envy strats, and they wouldn't really be able to adapt to any other new strategies, which is still kind of a negative about only scrimming two teams, but it is what it is, and the two teams is more than one, so I still feel like they are an advantage in this, and they're in a, a, I believe it helps during the first tournament. Sorry, I'm kind of stuttering in everywhere in this. I'm not very organized, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna pop up so many kills to have. Make sure this gameplay is worth it. I 29 12, my bad. So, as I was saying, the first tournament it is actually helpful because, like I said, you don't know what guns will be good on land or not, what attachments, if a, what specialists will be good. Like, all that honestly matters so much, like the smallest details will actually matter an insane amount, so it's good to know what you're going to expect going into Las Vegas before you actually go into Las Vegas, so I believe a free land for the first tournament of the year is definitely a good idea and called champs. But for all the other tournaments and stuff, like even called Chance is kind of iffy because like what Crimsic said in Vision, he said last year I called Champs when they thought like they had their they thought they were gonna win it pretty much is what I'm trying to say and they did not do well at all. They didn't even make it a cool play. So but that's because they only scrimmed complexity. And, like they weren't ready for other strategies, they weren't ready to adapt to all the things that they're used to adapting to. The World War II was not their year, that's no excuse, so they did terrible. They know they did, and they're gonna make it, they're gonna, they say they're gonna make it up to us in Black Ops 4. And I say us, meaning Optic Gaming fans, including me, of course, I'm very biased to buy them. Because I've been following them since Nade shot them big time, and Murder, Rambo, and all the old people, <laughs> not old people, that's what I meant, all the old timers in Call of Duty, is kind of what I'm trying to say. But anyway, do who can't help, period. Yes, for the first tournament, they do. For stuff they call champs, I I don't know. I really don't think they would help that much. For example, like Crimson said, it was honestly put them at a native advantage in World War II because they were only scrimming one team and they got used to complexity strategies. They weren't ready for any new strategies or anything like that. That is on them. They should have prepared more and should have adapted better, but they didn't. It ended up costing them the whole tournament and they ended up losing. And another thing I kind of want to talk about quickly is, again, you can't expect too much from Optic Gaming this year. Like, yes, they have a solid team. All of them individually are amazing players. They seem to have really good chemistry right now. But, like I said, World War II was kind of the same thing. They won a ton of 2Ks in the start of the year. And everyone thinks they're unbeatable right now. That is not the case. I have seen some flaws in their screens. But that's why they're scrimming, to perfect their flaws and to make it so that they don't have any of those flaws that go into the lands and tournaments and stuff like that. Well, I'm just saying, don't expect them to 3-0, 2-0 every team in this tournament. I, even though I do expect them to place decent, I don't know if I can say I, or I expect them to place first. Like I said, they're all good, they're all individually, they're great players. But you never know how 100 Thieves, Envious, like, freaking, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, all these other teams have really great players as well, and I believe the competition this year is going to be super close, but just don't have any expectations going into Las Vegas, it's the first time of the year, we're still trying to sort out the rule set and all that good stuff, so that's pretty much all we want to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is your boy it is Steezy. Have a wonderful night or morning. Whatever time it is you guys are watching this video at. Have a great one. Um, hopefully I had decent topics. Hopefully the audio levels are fine. And uh, again, thank you everyone for tuning into my streams. I finally got Diamond Snipers. I went 53 and 14. Not too bad. And I'm extremely happy with theater mode working again. One thing I'm not happy about 
is that they still have tons of glitches. For example, at halftime, I couldn't hit the left thumbstick because it wasn't working. I couldn't pause it. Nothing was working. So I just want them to fix things like that before they add new maps and new things. Like, fix your glitches and then do all your add-ons after that. And I'm just super hyped for Rank Play 2 to come in. I believe it's going to come in pretty soon now after Las Vegas. But who knows? And, um, again, thank you all for tuning in. Have a wonderful night or day, whatever time it is you guys are watching the video at. And I'll catch you all in the next one.